Welcome. This is a brief guide to testing food products for radioactivity using Radiocode series radiation detectors. First, some important information. Measuring radiation in biological materials, especially in food, is a complex task. Radioactive elements pose a significant health risk when they enter the body through food or inhalation. Even small amounts can be harmful, but most radiation detectors will not register them if simply placed next to the food. A qualitative analysis of food is carried out in laboratories using special methods. Radiocode is the only household device capable of estimating the content of radioactive cesium-137 in food using methods similar to those in laboratories and can detect even small traces of contamination. What you will need, a Radiocode radiation detector, a Marinelli beaker that allows the sample to surround the sensor on all sides. Kitchen Scales, the Radiocode mobile app for iOS or Android. This setup will help us to estimate the concentration of cesium-137 in food and compare the result with the maximum permissible concentrations, MPC, for that type of product. Why is it so important to assess cesium-137 in food? Cesium-137 is the radionuclide that most often accumulates in food after radiation accidents and releases. It has a long half-life of about 30 years, which means it persists in soil for decades and easily enters plants, berries, mushrooms, and other foods. In the human body, cesium behaves like potassium. It distributes evenly across muscles and tissues, irradiating the body from within. That's why food safety standards are based primarily on cesium-137. Step-by-step instructions. 1. Open the Radiocode app and connect your device. At the bottom, select Food Contamination – New Analysis. Choose the product type, for example, dried berries, and select the matching Marinelli beaker volume. Then enter the net weight of the food sample. To do this, weigh the empty container, then fill it to the top with the sample, and calculate the difference. 2. Set up the background spectrum. This step ensures the detector subtracts the natural radiation background automatically. You only need to do this once. The spectrum can be saved and reused later. To create background spectrum, in the menu, press plus, Switch to Spectrum Mode. Reset any old spectrum. Leave the detector running for 24 hours. 48 hours is better. Save the result under a name like Background. 3. Start the data collection. Go back to Activity Mode. Select your saved background. Place the radio code in the filled Marinelli beaker and press Start. Important Details. The sample weight must be accurate, and the container must be filled to the top. Otherwise, results will not be reliable. Collecting data takes time. If the product is heavily contaminated, results may appear within 30 minutes. For lower contamination, the process may take much longer. Understanding the results. MPC, Maximum Permissible Concentration, the key parameter to look at. Two values are shown, indicating the uncertainty range. Over time, as statistics accumulate, this range narrows. If the range jumps below 100%, for example, 0 to 90%, the sample has less than 90% of the limit and can be considered safe. Unlike essential minerals, potassium, calcium, zinc, iron, cesium-137 is not naturally present in the human body, and is undesirable in any amount. Activity per kilogram, also shown, but MPC is the more reliable reference. Activity below 30 BQ per kilogram can generally be ignored. It's too low and often within statistical error. Threshold. This is the minimum detectable activity at the current moment. Anything below it is invisible for now. As measurement continues, the threshold decreases and results become more precise. 
To reach the lowest possible threshold, use a high-quality background spectrum collected for 24 to 96 hours. The longer, the better. Final notes. Now you know how to test food safety with Radiocode radiation detectors. Important to note, Radiocode is not an officially certified measuring or laboratory device. It is intended for household indicative use only and does not replace professional quality control or sanitary testing methods. Now you know how to test food products at home, and if you still have questions, you can contact our technical support. Thank you for your attention, and see you soon.